So this was our lesson yesterday. So I'm gonna ask Hassan to read the first part. And the second part, I'm gonna ask Maritza, okay? So Hassan, I'd like you to say, in my opinion, the best choice for the city, okay, go. In my opinion, the best choice for the city and its res residents is to build a recreational bar. We already have a huge number of shopping malls located in almost every corner of the city. I strongly believe that building a recreational park is a fantastic idea. A spacious park can serve the growing population of the city and give the young people the opportunity to spend time in the park, such as playing sports that can surely help improve the quality of their health. Another great idea is a petting zoo. It is always a good idea to bring some piece of nature to the city and to teach our children love for animals. In addition, having granaries can have a positive impact in helping to reduce pollution. We already have a lot of shopping centers. What we need is more parks for families to spend quality time together. Beautiful, beautiful. So Alison, you were not here yesterday. This was our dictation test yesterday. We had a test yesterday, but uh, it was not a graded test, it's a practice test. So when I do an actual test in the future, you know exactly what to do. Okay, the way you read Hassan and Maritza, amazing. Awesome, I love it. Okay, very clear, very passionate. And it's so, uh, I think Alison felt it, Hassan. She felt it. <laughs> okay, so, and Bernie felt you're reading Maritza. So yeah, okay, so anyway, beautiful. Okay, everybody, if you remember, I changed some words in the reading. Okay, wonderful, I changed to fantastic. And I, redo, uh, I removed the last part of the, of the paragraph, which is, uh, I, I remember I said, what we need is more parks for families and to spend quality time together and less Remember I said, and less uh, shopping malls. Uh, but I removed it, I removed it because it's not necessary. Because this, I wrote this, right? So because I wrote it, I can edit it myself. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, so, uh, so now we have something new that I like you to read. Uh, and I need, okay, let me show you first so you can volunteer if you want it, okay. This is Mississauga. This is Mississauga. And this picture I took from my condominium. <laughs> I took this picture from my condominium, but right now this area is no longer the same. Because this vacant lot on the right of the picture is now uh, a place where they're building uh, for, I mean, condominium complex, a condominium complex with, uh, with, with, I think, six buildings, okay? They are not yet finished, but this area is no longer vacant. It's been occupied, sold to the builders. And honestly speaking, I personally believe I mean, I feel sad that Mississauga had to sell this area. Mississauga had to sell this area to the builders to build condominiums because this area could have been a place to, to put a big stage, a place for concert, 
a place for children to play, a place for people to exercise, but Mississauga sold it to the builder. It could have been a beautiful place for, for us, for our future children, our future children and their children to have a place in the city to go and spend quality time as a family. And this for me is sad, but I don't know why the government decided to build um, condominiums there. Because if you think about it, Mississauga, we have so many places in Mississauga. Yeah, you know, we could have saved this for the city of Mississauga, walking distance to the mall, you know, to build something for a place to, I mean, for people to, uh, um, to exercise, to, um, you know, to play, to have like uh, maybe water fountain, wading pool for the children, you know, and parking lot, you know, this is Burnham Thorpe. And the other side is Webb Drive. And I live, I live west of this place. And this picture was taken from the balcony of our recreation room where we can exercise and we can barbecue you can uh, that picture was taken from there okay so now i'm gonna okay i need volunteers to read but hassan and maritza you will no longer uh, volunteer okay so i'm gonna have um jean and merita and there's one more jean and merita Okay, Jean and Merita, okay, you're gonna read this. Okay, uh, let, no, don't, no, don't read yet. Okay, this one is City Development Survey. Situation, you live in a small town of 1,000 people. A large green area in the center of town is undeveloped. The city has sent out an opinion survey to see what residents would like to have built in that area, in that, you know, area. Task, choose the option that you prefer. Why do you prefer your choice? Explain the reason for your choice. Write about 100 to 150 words. Okay, option number one. Do you want a shopping complex in this vacant lot? A shopping complex includes a shopping mall, uh, restaurants, a large supermarket, and a movie theater. Option B, a recreational park. This park would include a sports complex, a large green area, and a small petting zoo. Now, if I give it to you as a test, which I am not giving it to you as a test, I want to teach you how to do it. So in the future, when you go up to the next level or when you go to college or university, you have an idea how things are done in, in a professional college or university. So what you will do is, do you want this vacant lot to be a shopping complex? Do you, or you want it as a recreational park, okay? So yesterday I gave you a reading, which actually, not actually, which answered uh, partly option B, which is our recreational part. Remember that, that, that reading, the dictation. So that was actually uh, a possible answer to this survey. You know survey? Survey is uh, the city, before they build something in your neighborhood, they will send you a letter to, to, to voice your opinion. That is the beauty of Canada. They will not just build, build, build. They will ask people. Obviously, they built um, apartment complex, a condominium complex in this area because when they asked the people, the people didn't complain. Okay, so now, Option number one is shopping complex. 
option number two, option B is recreational uh, facility or, or recreational park. Okay. So now if I were to ask you, which would you like built in this area? You don't need to answer me right now. I just want to give you an idea how it looks like if you are given a test to express your opinion, to make a choice, to make a selection. Okay. And so, uh, Jean and Marita, you're going to read this. Okay, Jean, you start. Okay. Erin Dell, first of all, we already have several parks in every neighborhood. Many conservation areas where people can bike, take a nature walk, swim, and camp are at the driving distance from the city. In my view, we don't need additional parks. We need restaurants, new supermarkets, shopping malls, convenience stores, health club, drug stores, beauty salon, nightclubs, and movie theaters. Now, okay, thank you, Jean. Beautiful reading. Okay, now, before we continue, do you agree with this answer, Alison? You don't agree? No. Do you, you no don't yeah. agree? do you agree with this answer, Mina? Okay, if you are not following me, this is the situation. I ask you option A, we build in this vacant lot um, a shopping complex. Uh, B, we build in this area uh, a recreational park, which is nature, right? Now, in this paragraph that Jean has just read, um, Jean, can you please repeat the reading? Okay. Um, Erindel, first of all, we already have several parks in every neighborhood. Many conservation areas where people can bike, take a nature walk, swim and camp are at the driving distance from the city. In my view, we don't need additional parks. We need restaurants, new supermarkets, shopping malls, convenience stores, health clubs, drug stores, beauty salon, nightclubs, and movie theaters. Now, thank you. Uh, Mina, do you agree with this? That we don't need our recreational parks because we have so many parks in Mississauga. And if you want to go to the park, they are, they are at a driving distance, which means you can drive just five minutes or 10 minutes and you are in a park. So we don't need a recreational park in this area. What we need is a shopping mall where people can shop, restaurant, movie theaters, like places where our family can have fun. Okay. Do you agree, Mina? No. no. Ken Rajit, do you agree? No, sir. Do you agree, Kurdi? Uh, yes. Hilala, do you agree? No, I'm agree with the park. It's, uh, the park should be still there. Hani, do you agree? Uh, no, uh, because uh, I have a I have a reason. Uh, Mr. is already full. Uh, city center is already full. The um, close to square one is already full. It's high traffic. The insurance is gonna go high more because I'm living in this area. Yes, yeah. because we have yeah. too much popul uh, pollution. The trees, the parks, they took the pollution oh is gonna be clean. Your reasoning is like Canadian people. I love I love you. <laughs> you are like the Canadian people. You know, you care about like this pollution. You know, traffic. You know, yes. it's so like, um, Hani, you are so right because people who are crowding in this area, they are not thinking of the future. This yes, area is gonna be a mess. You know, and there is only two exits. We only Correct. have two exits to the highway. Yes, Mavis and here Ontario. And here Ontario. Yeah. For this big part. You know what? Even our school, I cannot talk about it because of the recording. 
our ESL school, we lost it here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to explain to you what. Yeah, for me, is is he can build the school and instead of it, uh, half of it is gonna be building, half of it is gonna be green area. It's gonna exactly. be beautiful. yes, yeah, beautiful. But they sold it to the builders. I don't what? know why. Business, business under table. We are recording. We are recording. recording. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, okay, 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 okay. Now, um, Merita. Are you ready to read the follow-up? Yes, for sure. Okay. Merita, and just second Merita, let me choose another person. Um, Bernie, you're going to read the second one, okay? That this is nowadays, and Bernie, you're going to do, in my opinion. Okay, go. Okay, Merita. Nowadays, a great number of people are moving to the city and the rate of movement is rapidly increasing. As a result, I strongly believe that we should allow the city to expand. In my opinion, we should build some big shopping complex in the city to meet the demand of the growing population and the future generation. You see? When you look at the reading, listen to this, everybody. When you look at the reading, sometimes, you know, the opinion can change your mind. You know, because of the way people talk. But don't worry, because I wrote this. <laughs> okay? So, you know, of course, you can debate. You know, you don't have to agree with what I wrote, right? Okay, next. Um, volunteer, not the same person. Can I go? Uh, who's this? Me, Helalai. Okay, Helalai. In addition, once I order two uh, televisions, um, monitor. Mon a monitor and a new laptop, computer online, I waited at least a week to receive them. I also had to pay for shipping and Hand, hand, handing. This would not have happened if there had been big stores like the Costco or Walmart in my neighborhood. Yes. So here, the argument is we need more shopping malls because we are wasting time and money ordering things online because we don't have a lot of shopping malls. But of course, this is just an opinion, okay? I also like your opinion on if we build a recreational park, it is good for the future of our children and our children's children. And at the same time, it can reduce the traffic and also reduce pollution like Asilalai and Hani said, okay? <clears throat> okay, so now, um, let me check. Ahmed and Zora, who wants to read the next one? Okay, it's good. Okay, Ahmed, go. Yes. Uh, to sum up, I believe that the city needs to develop and expand to better serve its residents on a daily basis. People normally go to the parks only in the spring, summer and fall. In the winter, most of them stay indoor. And in conclusion, those who want to visit the park can talk, can take a short drive to the sub, suburb and enjoy the fresh air and beauty of nature yes okay so here you are saying here that um we need the, the city is expanding as the city expands we also need to provide more modern or sophisticated services for the people living in the city and if you want to go to the park and spend quality time with your family the parks are 10 minutes, five minutes away from you. And what people do not understand is more shopping malls 
means more traffic. More traffic, it slows down the city. And more traffic means more pollution. Okay, you make more money, but you also have more pollution. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, this picture, I took this picture at Jock Darling Park. I took it with the uh, Toronto skyline, downtown Toronto skyline. Sky, you, know, skyline. Andrew, you took a perfect picture, like you think some someone draws, you took a perfect picture. No, no, I, took I think, it. yeah. Yeah, but perfect. actually I need to fix it because it's a little bit blurry, you know? Yeah. Because it was gloomy when I took the picture. You took yeah, the picture, look like a professional I photograph. I took it from uh, Jack Darling Park. You know Jack Darling Park? It's like uh, on Lakeshore. Yes. Yeah. South of mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to go back a little bit and read. Okay. First of all, we already have several parks in every neighborhood. My con Many conservation areas where people can bike, take a nature walk, swim, and camp are at a driving distance from the city. In my view, we don't need additional parks. We need restaurants, new supermarkets, shopping malls, convenience stores, health clubs, drug stores, beauty salons, nightclubs, and movie theater. Nowadays, a great number of people are moving to the city and the rate of movement is rapidly increasing. As a result, I strongly believe that we should allow the city to expand. In my opinion, we should build some big shopping complex in the city to meet the demand of the growing population and the future generation. In addition, once I ordered a television monitor and a new laptop computer online, I waited at least a week to receive them. I also had to pay for shipping and handling. These would not have happened if there had been big stores like the Costco or Walmart in my neighborhood. Uh, to sum up, I believe that the city needs to develop and expand to better serve its residents on a daily basis. People normally go to the parks only in the spring, uh, summer, and fall. In the winter, most of them stay indoor, indoor. And in conclusion, those who want to visit the park can take a short drive to the suburbs and enjoy the fresh air and the beauty of nature. Okay, so now, um, now, okay, before I close this slide, okay, let me close the slide. 